Hi there, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be discussing about how we can send fan out event notifications using SQS and SNS, that is queuing service and the notification service. So basically, whenever the message will be published to an SNS topic, so we will be using uh, multiple endpoints to be like to which the message to be delivered. So we can either use a uh, Firehose delivery streams, Amazon SQS queues, or we can utilize any HTTPS endpoints also along with the Lambda functions. So we can utilize this in order to parallelly process these messages. So basically the uh, idea is like, suppose if we are developing some application, some like, let's say uh, some e-commerce application. So if you have certain orders to be processed, so we can like have a, some uh, SNS topic whenever the order is being placed. So for any particular product, the message will be delivered to the queuing system. So to which it is being subscribed. So basically there will be a publisher and a topic and there will be a subscriber in the queue system, this queue endpoints. So we'll be utilizing this in order to the subscribe topic, whatever SQS is being subscribed, the notifications must be delivered. So here you can see a simple example over here, like we have a, a publisher endpoint and as well as SNS topic to which this SQS is being subscribed. So we can send like, suppose the number of orders that are being placed, we can send it to the EC2 instance that will process the your order and it will go further to the next process. And another EC2 instance to which you can utilize those orders, the quantity of orders for analytics purpose for uh, different scenarios like how many uh, like a various analysis you can do it so that for processing you can also have to another instance so this is how you can like instead of having uh, separately like you know polling that messages and all making sure that it's being delivered or not so we can have an automated one in which we will be having this SQS uh, added to the SNS so I'll be showing you how we can send this fan out even notifications. So we will just jump onto the uh, AWS console and we will first go to the our SNS. So we will first create a topic and then after creating a topic, so we'll be uh, creating two separate queues for sending the messages, like forwarding it to, to different endpoints so we can have a uh, two instance. But I'm not going to show a detail about this, just I'll show you a SNS and SQS, how we can configure that. So let's jump onto the console. So you can see over here, Amazon Simple Notification Service. We have the pub sub concept over here. So for sending your messages for microservices and services applications, so first of thing that we are going to do over here, we are going to create a topic. Let's say I'm going to create a topic, my orders, and then click next. So here there are two types of, like we can create a topics over here. So FIFO and standard. So FIFO is first in first out. So these are the strictly preserved message ordering, like, uh, like suppose you want a message to be delivered in certain order. So choose FIFO and there is exactly one message delivery and high throughput up to 300 publishes per second we can make it and we have this uh, subscription protocol sqs here we can have it in a standard we can have here in the fifo we will just have the sqs but here in the standard one we can either integrate with the lambda http sms email mobile notification mobile application endpoints and all we can do it so this is my name of my topic so you can additionally, you can define some display name. Uh, just all are optional over here. So I'll just skip those. I'm not going to activate any one of them. Let's be there. So just create a topic. So you can see our uh, topic has been created. Now I'm not going to do anything over here. So I will just jump onto the queue. So we can
So we can just go to the simple queuing service. So we can see over here, we have over here, so queue that we are going to create. So you can see the walking and all. I've created several other videos earlier also. You can just have a look into it. So we'll just click on this queue over here. Again, here, standard or FIFO. So first in, first out delivery, and his standard is at least once delivery. So, and it is best effort ordering to try itself. So let's say we are going to create two queues over here. Let's say order, let's say inventory. So I'm not going to set up this configuration, visibility timeout, delivery delay, and all those things. Let it be by default. Encryption by default is enabled. So rest of the things, let it be default. So we'll just click create queue. Similarly, I will create another queue. Like suppose if you're having a, like uh, for analytics and all you want to uh, like send it for a certain other endpoint for processing and all. So we can, let's say analysis. Okay, okay, in the same create queue. So now this both the queues has been created. Now we have to make it show we need to subscribe to those topic. So if you select over here, if you close, go to the action, subscribe to Amazon SNS topic. So I will choose the topic from here. It will load it over here. So you can see my orders, select and save. Similarly, I'll just go back to the queues over here. Inventory, action, subscribe. You can also configure a Lambda function if you want to trigger it. Like suppose on your website, like certain orders are being like, uh, like you can have certain discount and all, and then messages that you can configure it accordingly, like which type of user it is and how much discount should be given. So you can have some Lambda function being triggered uh, based upon that on the when, whenever the order is being placed. So certain kind of, add-ons you can do it in your online like e-commerce website so i'll just save it over here okay now both the queues let me refresh over here so we have both the queues so no messages are being configured now i'll go back to my topic so once i click on the topic click on it my orders now if you See over here, two subscriptions. So this is basically the year and number of our, the queues that we have created. So you can see analysis queue and the inventory queue that are being subscribed to this topic. Now, we are going to publish some message over here. Click on the publish message. Let's say we will put it over here. This is the enter message subject optional. Let's say order. Time to live, you can specify or just keep it empty. So just one, let's say, something like this. Let's say number two. Okay, so we can also define some custom payload and all, and we can also add that attribute to our message. So these things, you can just check my previous video I have shown over there, like how we can add these attributes and all, how we can add some custom headers and all. So publish message. So once I publish the message, when I go to my queues over here, 
just you can just click on this you can see over here So we have this SRN being subscription over here and you can just click on send and receive messages and you can just go over here. You can see how many messages are being available. One, similarly, if you go back to your queue to inventory, so you can see over here, one message is being available. So you need not to worry about like whether which endpoint the message should be delivered and all. So whatever, like if you're into the queue, Lambda or HTTPS endpoint, so even Firehose and also whatever you're defining, it will be delivered to that particular endpoint. So this is a fan out thing that you can configure in your applications when you have to send the message to multiple endpoints and you can configure in this way a topic and you can add the subscriptions to it. So whichever subscription want this message to be delivered. Now, if you click on this poll for messages, you can see over here, the messages here. Similarly, you can check it for the other one. So I'm just showing you one of them. You can see everything is there, like uh, notification, the message order, and you can see these are the two order messages that are in there and the signature and all. If you have added any extra attributes, if you have added any details, it will come over here. So MD5 and all the message body, you can add it. So this is how you can have a fan out. You can utilize this option, a combination of SNS and SQS. So we can publish the message to the SNS topic every time. So it is replicated and pushed to the various multiple endpoints without worrying about anything else. So I hope you like my video. So please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.